Hello everybody and welcome along to Simulation for the Nation. Thank you ever so much for checking out this latest video. Just wanted to say to all of my viewers a very happy new year and all the best of 2019. I hope whatever you do brings you the best of fortunes and we will continue to be with you along the way. For now though, we're gonna jump straight into a new series. I do hope you enjoy. How do I turn this on? Is it on? There we go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to what is going to be a, a kind of a mini series with myself. My name is Jeff and I will be bringing you along as we try and revitalize uh, this family farm of mine that has been, well it's kind of been forgotten about to be, to be honest. A uh, bit of a backstory here, we are based in, uh, in Cornwall and we have been this farm has been in my family for many many generations and unfortunately due to uh, poor health it has kind of been left really it's been forgotten about it's been uh, the land has been passed over to uh, local farmers to contractors to work on and it's been left and kind of the farm buildings and the machinery on the farm kind of been left to waste really um my my granddad was running this farm until his health declined and this is my truck here that i've just arrived in and this was the only bit of equipment that he would use actually um, and that was we got this so that he was able to drive around and inspect what was happening but i uh, he, he's no longer even able to use that one so we have i've been asked by the family to come in here and kind of see what's going on see what we can use see what we can uh, revitalize and get this business back up and running so we're going to have a bit of a wander down to the yard and see what we've got to play with today. Uh, there's quite a bit of machinery from memory, he had quite a bit of equipment. Um, however, if memory serves correct, I always, also seem to remember that it's not in very good condition. So that's what we're going to have to have a look into today. Um, we There are no livestock on the yards here. There's the, crop, the fields that we have have crops in them. I'm not sure what they are. We're going to have to wander around there. Uh, Previous contractors have come in and planted crops and we're going to just take it over really and work with what we have uh, But as you can see there are buildings. We've got stems. Oh, there's a couple of trailers here uh, An old Bowser and we've got a what looks like quite a rusty old trailer and I think I see the first signs of a tractor there as well So we'll have a wander around the corner. Uh, it's not the biggest farm We're looking at about 300 350 acres of arable land a little bit of grassland mixed in there as well uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head right now what condition the fields are in how many of them have got a crop planted, how many haven't, etc. So we'll have to have a look into things like that, uh, which I'm sure we can do. As you can see, though, it's quite a nice, compact, tight yard here. So it's something that we're, uh, you know, it's it spaces up the premium. Um, it used to be, now this might give it away, it used to be once upon a time during, uh, during the war, it was, there was that old um, RAF air, airfield around here, which is where this kind of uh, Quonset hut uh, hangar style building came from. No, if I believe I'm right, if I open this up, this was our workshop. There we go. So we've got a nice little workshop there to, um, I feel like we're going to be doing an awful lot of um, work on our equipment here. So that's uh, this will come in very handy, no doubt. Um, one thing that was very noticeable when I used to come and visit around here was my granddad wasn't the best at looking after his equipment. So we have a lot of equipment that was left outside, a lot of equipment that wasn't serviced uh, and just kind of run down. Uh, case in point, this plow, um, it's just, it's worn down, all the metal's worn down, it just needs to be kind of looked after, serviced, points changed, metals changed, greased up and more importantly, kept inside. Uh, so that's something we have to have a look into. Uh, this is one of, I believe there are two tractors on this farm. Uh, we've got a Case International 1255XL. Um, it has, it needs a wash, uh, it's got, yeah, a little bit of sign of wear here and there, just, I mean, but it is an old machine, so that's quite, probably what you'd expect, really. Let's see what we've got on the clock here. Uh, we have got eight and a half thousand hours on board here, so yeah, it is quite an old piece of equipment. Will it start up the keys in here, let's see. It blooming well does everybody, look at that, that's fantastic. Excellent stuff, so we've got one track to start up, let's leave that one. That's great. An old trailer here that's been beaten and worn around a bit, that needs a bit of a, 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 a clean down and maybe a paint as well if we can find some paint. I don't know how it's got so messed up there, but uh, that's something for, uh, that's another job for us to look into. 
So, I mean, basically what we're going to be doing here is getting ourselves up and running again, making sure we can uh, bring have sufficient fodder, food, uh, and water here to bring some uh, livestock back in. This was a dairy farm at one point, or a, a, a beef, a cattle farm, to be more accurate. Uh, oh, here is tractor number two, a glorious Ford 7840. Again, this one must be fairly old now. Uh, it's got to be looking at kind of 20, 25 years old, I would suggest. But we will, um, we're going to see how this one performs as well. We've got a few little bits of small equipment in here as well. A drill that's, well, it's not looking too bad, I suppose. Nor is the power harbor, actually. Uh, oh, we've got a spinner over here. Oh, it's, it's looking like it's a bit, bit dirty and used. Uh, we might have to get that one cleaned down. <sighs> Tractor number two again. In, I just don't know why he didn't wash anything down here, but he hasn't. Uh, so that's something we need to look into. Um, but we have four thousand, uh, nearly five thousand hours on this one, so it's filthy inside. We'll have to get this one cleaned over. Is this one going to start up? No. Okay, so one out of two isn't bad, I suppose. We need to have a look into that one. Uh, that's, uh, that's something else for us to pick over at another time. We do have a small operating budget here. Now, there are a few things that we don't have uh, in terms of equipment that we need to probably look into. For example, the I do believe that we the family sold off the... Te there was an old forklift here that they sold off um, just to kind of put some more... pay off some debts, I believe. Uh, it was the most modern piece of equipment and therefore the most valuable, so they sold it, we got rid of that one. Uh, so we have no load, we have no loader or forklift or anything, so we'll have to look into that. Um, I might look into see if it's worthwhile putting a loader onto one of these tractors. We might look into seeing if it's worth making the significant investment to buying a, a loader outright, but we'll have to see. Buildings wise, the buildings look like they could be good enough for what we need to begin with. Um, the a lot of these are just kind of old wooden buildings that have been built up over time here. This cattle dairy yard or uh, parlor was actually brought over from Europe at one point or another, I do believe. Uh, it's an old barn there that was kind of converted. It looks like it could be in good condition. There's some crack in the roof which meant we've got a tree branch coming through there somehow. That might be something we have to look into. But, um, yeah, other than that, we've got plenty of grasses, you can see, that's one main thing. Uh, and we'll have to we'll have to see what we can get going with that, really. It's a little pathway we're going to sneak up the side here. Oh, that's excellent. Um, silos, I'm not sure what condition they're in, we'll have to have a look at that again. I believe there's a little bit more equipment around here. I'm sure we should have a lot of grassland equipment as well. Um, of course, that may have been, at some point, they may have got rid of that. Uh, but we'll, what we're going to do... Uh, I think we'll have a quick wander around here. This is, if I remember right, this is where we kind of stacked our bales, our silage bales. It's a bit bumpy in here. I need to uh, try and need to come in here and level out some of this um, ground in here, just so we can actually stack bales properly. Uh, that's an old, old trailer. At least we've got something to cut a few bales around if we need to. And then we'll have a look what's over here. I did notice when I drove in that yeah, there is a bit of like a. It looks like a uh, subsoil has been just parked up in the weeds here. Uh, so that's, uh, the metalwork doesn't look too bad there. Might not be too bad a piece of equipment. And it looks like we have our combine in here. So let's have a look. See, we have our new Holland TX32. It is looking horrendously dirty, and again, it's just looking a bit worn down, a bit battered. There's some scrapes on places, scratches, bumps, just things that look like it needs to be. Well, it needs to be looked into, really. It needs to be serviced and cleaned and kind of given a new lease of life here. And the header trailer is there, so I'm assuming the header is on there as well, which it is. And uh, yes, I'd say I'd say same thing goes for that, really. A lot of paintwork missing, but then this combine is old, so this combine is old, so that's kind of what you'd expect to see. I'm not. As long as it starts up, we'll get it started up and see if it fires over uh, and hook up the header at some point as well, give it a bit good service and make sure it all works. Nice old wooden barn. We've got somewhere to, uh, like a uh, a Dutch barn here we can store some bales in, I do believe. It's a, we've got a relatively new looking tanker at least. But again, it's filthy, but uh, yeah, we can work with that. That looks nice, good size. Very impressed with that one. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to see if I can find the keys to uh, Grandad's Gator, to his um, 
to his ATV John Deere thingy. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a bit of a drive around, we'll see what's in the field, see what we can work on with, and then we will um, yeah, make a decision and kind of like a plan of action. Alright, we have got the beast unleashed here, and uh, this road is narrow and it's not very even, so I don't know if we'll ever get around to doing anything about that. We need to widen it somewhere. Trees in the way a bit, if we get any bigger trailers or anything, but uh, we'll have to make do. So we're going to have a bit of a what, drive down uh, the farm track here. There's fields on either side of ours. There's also a small pocket of land that isn't actually near here. It's probably about um, what, a 20 minute, 20 minute track to drive away from here. And there's two fields over there. Uh, totaling probably in the region of around about 40 acres, I would say. Uh, so that's land that we have that we need to consider what we're going to be doing. Now for some reason, I'm not quite sure what the... Um, previous contractors were thinking in terms of a crop rotation but right now these two fields here we have maize and we have some sugar beets so what we're gonna have to do is I don't have guarantee I don't have the equipment to harvest these uh, we're gonna have to get this contractor back in before we get the sugar beet just tipped into there I would imagine uh, and we need to get them to do that so we can have a chance of clearing this field get uh, a cereal crop in here Primarily, I think for in terms of our crop rotation here, we will be looking at um, starting with winter barley, spring barley, spring barley, um, oilseed rape, uh, and wheat. It would be our main crop rotation in there. Maybe some oats as well if we need to. Uh, so we need to look into that one. What have we got here? Well, it looks like we've got potatoes in here as well. Some more root crops. They really went heavy on the root crops. Uh, so we're gonna have to, yeah, we'll get the, probably get the contractors to come in and finish that up. With the maize here, um, it's looking like quite good, it's a blooming tall maize crop, that's for sure. And uh, what we might looking to do is two options, we can either get this, um, we can either get this cut and harvested for grain, or we could, let's, we could let it rot away as a great a grain crop, like a cover crop, uh, and then come back and drill, like, chop it down, uh, mix it in as kind of a, an organic matter and then come back and uh, drill a new crop over the top of that, that might be something we want to look into. But yeah, it's a fair height at the moment, this, uh, that field's not the biggest but certainly something we want to look into. On this side, there's a few birds out and about here. This side I believe, from what I can see, it looks like we've got some soya beans growing in here. Uh, so we'll be very interested to see how that grows in this climate. We'll probably leave that to continue and see how it's going to uh, go through. We can get that harvested. There can be quite a good trade for beans over here in the UK at the moment, so we'll have to look into that um, and see just how that comes along. We might keep that in the crop rotation if need be as a good kind of break crop, I suppose, um, just to give the fields a bit of a rest from, from repetitive cycles of barley or wheat, for example. Uh, so that's interesting. That's a good one we can always come back to. So this big field on my right isn't actually ours, that is the neighbours, but we do have the small and narrow one up here, and there's a few grass fields further up as well. I'm going to have to go for a bit of a dig to see where our grassland equipment is. I'm sure there was a baler uh, of sorts and a mo uh, maybe even a mower around here. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping for, because otherwise yeah, we're going to be in a bit of trouble if we can't find those. Uh, we have got a crop of wheat here, which is great, so that's already established. We will need to get some pre immersion herbicide onto here. Uh, just to stop any of the, uh, the broadleaf weeds coming through uh, before they, they start to really kick on. So we'll look into doing that, and then we'll keep an eye on it in terms of fertilizer and see what that's looking like. Uh, no spray here, that must be said, so we might look to see if we can pick up one of those somewhere as well. Um, we have very, we have a small level of equipment, it must be said. Obviously, it's not a large scale either, uh, but we do need to look into getting the essentials. Uh, particularly if we're going to start with the cattle, I think uh, some form of loader is going to be very important to us at the early stage. As you can see, we we have a small um, get rid of my PDA. There. We have a small uh, capital uh, to operational capital to work with, which is good. We need something, but it's. If I spent all of that on a petty handler or a loader straight away, it's not going to leave us with a great deal left. So uh, we do need to be quite careful with that. Uh, as we head up the hill here. There's a lot of forestry land around here as well. I do believe we're going to just, it's our intention to leave it as it is. Uh, keep the forest up and then harvest that for timber at this stage. Little grass paddock here, we'll try and make something out of. Get a few bales off there. And get up this hill. Now, at one stage, this used to be where they grazed uh, sheep up here. 
and it could well be transformed into that again. There's no buildings or anything for that. We probably wouldn't look into sheep just yet. Uh, it's a big investment to go into sheep and cattle at the same time, so that's something we'll probably kind of hang off for the short term. Where's this little path go here? So we're kind of now bordering along the northern edge of our land. Uh, let's just take this path down. So yeah, we've got a lot to do. We need to, we'll be taking the drive at some stage over to the other block of land, see what we've got going on there and what we can, um, I think there's a big um, grass pasture over there we can look into. The, we might need to revitalize and uh, give this grassland a bit of a kick just to boost it up a bit because it hasn't had any treatment or any fertilizer on there for a while. So it's in need of a little bit of a kick on. Uh, and if we were able to give that, then that would be ideal. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we're going to bring you on this little journey as we get this farm back up and working. Uh, is it too more of a, just a productive farm, really, than anything else? There's a lot to do in that regard, so we're going to be kept busy over the duration. And, uh, yeah, I'll make sure I bring my camera along and keep you all involved. Let's stop. Uh, this is the back end of the yard. Uh, so this is what will probably be, once I've finished putting some fencing up, I would imagine, uh, the cow pasture to begin with. Uh, there you can see the back of the cattle sheds over there. So... That's probably what we'll look into doing. And um, yeah, I just need to get a bit of fencing up so the cattle don't wanna, uh, and don't feel the urge to go for a bit of a wander, let's put it that way. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We've got a, a lot to get going with. Uh, I do like this gate though. Please, we've still got this floating around. I don't know when or where he picked this up from, but yeah, it's, it's a good one for us to have. Oh, here's a little path going through. Excellent. So we are going to take a little bit of an off-road over the top of here. Let's use this four-wheel drive on this thing. Ooh, heavens. So this kind of gives us a good little overview. Um, I'm going to jump out here. We've got fair bit of land to work with. We need to get the contractor in to look at these root crops sooner rather than later so we can get those cleared and get some crops that are going to be beneficial to us in the ground. Uh, and we will take it from there. So for now, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. You very kindly agrees to host this. And we will see you in the next one. So until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. But most importantly, happy farming.